Hello everybody, welcome back to Bayonetta, and we're going to be moving on. This is The Lost Holy Grounds. Okay. <laughs> Sunrise and Crescent Valley is... I don't know what the hell's going on. Where the hell am I? Good question. I'd better have got frequent flyer miles for that flight. Oh look, a book! I love reading. Crescent and Sunrise Valleys. Okay, I'll read it, sure. As overseers of history, the Lumen Sages and Umber Witches were both incredibly powerful, each fearing each other and strictly prohibiting inner relations as well as as a, as a way to maintain the balance of power. Upon the annual occasion of the total solar eclipse, only the selected elders of each clan were allowed to meet with the other group to conduct negotiations. I suppose that each clan drawing their power from the sun and the moon, respectively, must have held the eclipse as the most special of celestial phenomena. Okay, the two clans inexorably linked but opposed, like positive and negative, solidify this relationship in their interconnected mountain hideaways. The Witch's Sanctuary of Crescent Valley and the Sage's Sacred Sunrise Valley is where in... Oh... Located in an inaccessible and treacherous region, these areas were lined with countless rows of stone monuments dedicated to each clan's dead and large statues depicting a witch and sage stood at the center of the shared area. Demar demar demarketing? Demarketing the border between each clan's territory. Each statue has its back turned to the other and their vis visages as though rejecting a, any human intrusion stir intense feelings of discomfort within one's soul. Atop these statues, the clans met for their yearly consort, giving this place a mysterious but interesting ambiance. These valleys were not just filled with memorial tombs. They were also home to training facilities in the light and dark arts, held as sacred ground by both clans. Today, the statue of the Umber Witch is a truly gruesome sight. The giant spear has pierced a woman's chest. If it was shoved through the statue during the witch's age of persecution, it would have required unspeakable power from the Lumen Sage who carried out the act. Okay. Man, I've read a lot. It's a good thing I am reading. Because I'm on vacation. <laughs> well, never mind. I'm on vacation until further notice. There we go. Oh, I might want to move. <laughs> that was simple. <laughs> How did I get gold? Because it took me long? I don't know. That was stupid. Alright, let's over here. Training ground. Yes. This is a powerful barrier here, but something on the other side is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. Okay. Where are you? And why are there two of you? What are these? These are grace and glory? What the hell is Brutality. Oh, give me that. I can take the claws. That's just brutal. What is that? I got, I got their claws? Is that what that is? Hey, 
it's the other page of the record. I took damage? When did I take damage? Sonnet in DK48. Piece of an angelic hymn's gold LP is merely a piece of the full record. Okay. Let's. Whoops. Ow, motherfucker. Piece of shit. Loud enough. Oh, I just remember there's another thing from Smash. The thing in the chest, huh? Speak up, all I can hear is wind. Don't. Okay. Fearless. I don't think that's what they're called, but I mean, I should have moved. Oh, 
top pocket. That's just brutal. a giant tuba player and he's falling to his death. I think the aren't the mini tubas like sousaphones isn't that what they're called? Well I suppose I should read. What I just get this is Heavenly Manipulators. Okay. <laughs> The Umber Witch's sacred Crescent Valley is said to contain enormous relics hearkening back to the valley's place as a training ground in which witches supernatural magic arts. Hearkening is a word? <laughs> the long bridge that snakes between the car cavernous ravines of the valley stone circles hinting at celestial principles training chambers where death where where death was wagered in hopes of polishing one's skill in life. All of these are depicted in the tattered records I have obtained. I know not if I know not if they ever truly existed. However, the magnificent appearance of the witch statue in the distance seem, in the distance seems to indicate that legends passed down through history are in fact real. Amongst these numerous artifacts, the most mysterious are known as heavenly manipulators. I have already described how the Umber Witches drew their power from the darkness and the Lumen Sages from the light. However, I have not mentioned how these powers were at their greatest during full moon, or at the peak of the sun's ascent. The two groups created the heavenly manipulators to affect the movement of the moon and the sun, and these devices played a role in the clan's most important ceremonial rites. If stories are to believe, be believed, the clans could affect even the ways of the cosmos at will. The powers of the witch and sage were not common knowledge, although as overseers of history one could imagine that they must have had appropriately been appropriate had appropriately powerful abilities making their ultimate destruction an even more ironic end. Okay, so I got two more books to find. I sure hope I didn't miss it. It seems like the witches use this to study the stars, even though it is rusting in it is rusting in places. It's very well constructed. Oh, this I, I didn't see this. Was. Oh boy, it's nighttime now. Oh, so it works at night. Okay. Pause it soon. What are these? Harmony? Okay. I wonder if that is actually what they're called. Ow.
I'm gonna have to pause it here in a couple minutes. Game's almost over, so I'm doing the simulations for Madden right now, so. Hey, I think it's the last piece of that LP. It took 100 damage because the, the friggin' beginning was brutal. Oh. Uh, yeah, full record. Ooh, nice. Ouch. Dude, how? Dude, they just keep spamming the dodge button. That's like literally. Ooh, another book. I saw that. Oh, I can just go down here. Okay. What's this one? The Witch's Tears of Blood. Ooh, okay. Beginning of the 15th century, the whole Europe has been swept by a madness, a tragic event unprecedented in the whole of human history. The Witch Hunts. I thought it was the 16th century. It was. Be the 1700s. Never mind. As a result of the dark clan of Umber witches, we're away from the pages of history forever. Working at the behest of the powers that be, making a use of their ancient magical arts, the witches watched over the passage of time within the human world. Or at least they did until suddenly being swept up in waves of persecution and finally crumbling away under the pressure of the hu people's harsh recriminations. God. The women's sorrowful blood-stained tears crystallize into bright red gemstones and according to Vin Vig Vigridian legend they are said to be scattered everywhere. These stones, filled with their feelings of regret, are known as Umbra Tears of Blood. Umbra Tears of Blood. <laughs> Dolores Umbridge. Sounds like she'd be the head of these people. <laughs> To this day, the people of Vigri believe that should 100 of these stones be brought together as one enormous calamity shall befall the land. Yet no one has actually seen one of these gemstones, the ultimate of witchly souvenirs. They must be found for you by a crow, a beast whose heart lies in re resonance with, it, with the departed witches. These crows act as the witch's loyal servants, protecting their tears from falling into human hands. Okay. Did I miss one? I bet you it's going to come back eventually. Alright, what's in here? Oh, more bullets for the game. Okay. I'll take that. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go in the gates of hell real quick. I mean, I probably don't have enough halos to spend, so what? whatever. Space Marine. I do have uh, right, nothing there. Techniques. I probably don't have enough to buy anything. So yeah, I'm gonna just leave. This must have been used during the training of witches. Stepping on it gives hints of some sort of faint movement. There we go. <laughs> Man, it's kind of dark in here. <laughs> Your monger staff. <laughs> I don't think I pronounced that right at all. I thought that was just spawns for your friggin' character to come out and fight me. Apparently it's not just water. Why do you come out now? I just went up the stairs. What is that? Ardor? Mm. 
you get a bigger Iron Maiden. even better than a normal platinum metal. What is that? Oh, um... He's a brutally destroyed witch statue, some kind of power source preventing it from reforming. Oh, I knew it! It's a fight! Oh, one of use, huh? Those are gonna. That's gonna come back. I can leave here now. That'll come back. I gotta dodge and sprint for that. God damn it. air slug that I gotta watch out for. That's not funny. <laughs> oh look, a book. I think that's the last book. Witch graves within the city. Alright. Vigorid is littered with the legacies of an ancient age. Amongst these are the stone coffins used to bury departed witches along with their fellow overseers of history, the Lumen Sages, the Umbra Witches, use their incredible powers to repel any intrusion on Vigrid. I'm gonna have to stop soon. Under these auspices, the witches abode by the terms of their netherworldly worldly contracts, and upon parting with the physical world, the strongest of the witches are, were defied as guardians, and buried in stone coffins throughout the town. These stone coffins were sealed tight, and it was said that only those with knowledge of a witch's magic could open them. Even during the witch hunts, when the coffins were subjected to attempted demolition, not a single soul was able to peer into the contents within. Okay. According to one theory, the contract with their demon master stipulates that upon leaving this earth, a witch's soul nor body can remain. It is said Umbran burial customs were developed for that very reason. 
The women would bury their loved ones in treasured stone coffins to lessen the pain of those destined for an inferno, even if the effect was slight. Okay. Today, unable to break the magic seal upon the coffins, the Lumen, the Lumen Sage Seal of the Sun has been placed upon the stone sarcophagi as a counterweight. If by chance the power of witches were to return to this world, they would be prevented from opening their coffins due to the seal. This is a clear indicator of the sort of per persecution these women were suggested, subjected to during the witch hunts. While their whereabouts of the witch, witch's tombs is outlined above, the location of the tombs for the Lumen Sages remain unknown. According to remaining records, they had taken up final resting places with the Umbra in, in the secluded region known as the Crescent and Sunrise Valleys. It is said the Lumen Sages who conducted these duties, their duties not in the darkness but the light, rest peacefully in their valley after departing from this world. Okay. Finally, there are rumors that somewhere in Vigrid research that is underway to extract the spirit energy from the departed witches. It seems that the fate of the Umber Witch and Lumen Sage is yet to be truly decided. Oh, there's more. <laughs> I missed one. <laughs> so I did miss a book. No! What is this? Oh my god. God, there's books. There's more. No. Um, uh, game's almost up, so I'm gonna have to leave here in just a minute. But for right now, I'm still playing for another like 30 seconds. God damn. Me or is the writing same? Anybody know the band Opeth? It looks exactly like that. Hold on, I'm just streaming it up. Hey! What the hell? <laughs> streaming available? What are you talking about? Or is mine already over? Hold on, I'll, I'll go check. I'm assuming it's got a point. Why did it stop? Hold on. Game's going in overtime, it doesn't matter right now. Oh. Alright, let's keep going. I guess I'll continue this for right now.
Look at this dopey looking face. You're looking kind of... Hey, come on, let me hit you. Alright, Skibbert. It seems streaming is unavailable because it it violated policy. I mean, they just went back to normal. I'm like, that's stupid. What's the problem here, YouTube? <laughs> just because I'm doing things that are... <laughs> I played Rock Band and none of them got taken down, even though there are copyright in it. It means I can't get monetization. I don't care. What the hell, YouTube? Man, it's not friggin' Disney. I'd be getting sued if it was Disney. Which obviously I can't go through lawsuits. Damn. Okay. Well, I, su I don't think I really have anything, so I suppose let's just climb up. It's not Monday. Oh, what the hell? Wait, I have the ability to climb up the friggin' wall. Why can't I go up the wall? What the hell? Oh, uh, that works. There we go. <gasps> Another book! Rodan and the Gates of Hell. Okay. This is a place beloved by wanted men and rogues where money and power... Hold on. Money and power rule all. It is where I have established my office. Those who call this place by its given name are instantly identified as newcomers, and as the tired hands of this rat hole are called <laughs> by a single name, only the dump. Bloody battle and bloody battles and dirty disputes over money are an everyday occurrence here, and the concept of concern for one's fellow name was long since lost on the dumps. Did, did, the hell? Oh, it's construction. What the people here are after, what they love to see, is not of this world. They thirst for the uproar only the occult can inspire. The appearance of a specter, a man being devoured by a demon. These are the snacks they eat as they drink and cavor in the dump's numerous watering holes. Watering holes. It is the place that I have come on my pilgrimage in search of a grasp on reality. The dump is a wretched hive for all sorts of scum and villainy. What the hell? Stream suspended for policy violations. What am I violating? <laughs> That's the thing, it like... It stream suspended for policy violations. What am I violating? I don't know. What the fuck? What the hell's going on out there? I'll pull it up on my phone, why not? This is literal bullshit. YouTube's full of shit. Whatever. But amongst them all, one man is particularly strange. His name is Rodan, a prop, 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 proprietor, proprietor of the Gates of Hellbar. His front may be that of a bartender, but rumor has it he's, he is actually... He is actually an arms dealer. Of course, if a man such as myself were to visit his establishment, there is no way all of his secrets would be laid bare. However, I can tell just by the air around him that he is a dangerous man. Unlike the standard assortment of thugs in this place, his is a sort of danger on a truly different level. According to my colleagues, if one carries enough clout here, Rodan is known to provide a gun or blade should the fee prove satisfactory. That is all I have been able to wring out of people here. 
There are also rumors that if you enter the bar from some sort of hidden entrance, he will provide you things that money cannot buy, or so saith the gossips in this occult-obsessed town. They even go so far as to say these things are not made via normal means, but are weapons made from materials available only in Inferno. In the dump, there are enough rumors to rot one's ears if I hadn't seen the fresco of the Trinity of Realities. Uh, a staple of the Vergridian religions on Rodon's wall, I would have dismissed talk of him and nothing more than these tall, tall tales. In any, in any case, if I am able to fully investigate this man's secrets, I sh will surely be able to obtain the truth I so desperately seek. However, the aimless sniffing around in this town is a great way to end up, wind up dead. I'll have to be prudent and not leave things to a chance, okay. I don't think it's worth it. You're still alive? I thought I killed you. I really thought I ripped your head off and ate you. Did I not just rip that thing your head off and eat it? Ow. Okay, there must have been two of them and I just didn't notice. How'd I get the platinum medal? The fence has been exposed to the elements, weakening its considerably. Consider just a little bit of effort should knock it right over. But there we go. I mean, it did so. I'll take that. What the hell is that? It's got the one ring! Actually, it's got the four rings! Should be the final thing of this level, I assume. This is a little bit of a long one. What is the meaning of this? I'm not going to do that.
Someone tells me I'm gonna go find it. Which is exactly what I gotta do. Okay, I need to just... Nah, I know. Mm. Can you give me one second? It's gonna take a while, but... This game might be over. What are you doing? Never mind. second. Oh, I hate Madden for that. Just ice the kicker. Nobody does that if they know they're going to lose. My Freddy Kitchens, I think, got fired. I'll be right back. I gotta go. I gotta go uh, start up the next game for the next stream. The stream is live and up. Also, I forgot the description for that last game, but um, what exactly am I violating here, YouTube? Daily. I'm assuming it probably is because it would normally just break right now. Hey, hey, that's weird. Two videos coming out at the same time. Bayonetta 1 just came out and another Rock Band video just came out. Okay. Alright, we can continue. God, it's been going on way too freaking long. Get off the cord. Make 
electric to work. Oh, okay. Lost like 500 health points. What's the matter, sweetie? Afraid of something, are you? Afraid? Me? This is a waste of my time. You're still not ready. Hey, whoa, she can change into animals. I want to know that ability. Oh. I didn't know how to do that. What's this is really strong character and transforming the beast by the way. The speed as fast as the wind would be able to slam out even the most dangerous person in this. Way longer than it needed to be. I missed one? How what I get gold? I find. At least I'm not getting the bronze award. something for that. I am very much hard. What does that do? Only effective during the next chapter. Oh, okay. I'll take one of those. And 16 points. Alright, just give me, give me some halos for those. Alright. Where to next? Enlightenment Commercial District. Okay. Gates of Paradise, so it works. just Paradise. Alright, um, let me save up real quick. Yep, new save did. Three and a half hours, Jesus. I mean, there's like, oh, it said the game has like 11 hours in it, so. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for right now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that like button, that bell button, that share button, and the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. If you're wondering why I said week three, even though we're probably on a week five right now, I think. Because I'm doing it the same day I'm doing week three. Actually, it might be in week four. The, the early games. Alright, but anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.